Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 24th tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we're going to continue our discussion on numeric functions and check out a few more. So the first function that we're going to have a look at is the log function and it is used to compute the natural logarithm of numbers, right? And uh, you know, to use this function you have to import the math module. So I'll do that by typing in import math and now we can use all the functions in the math module. And uh, as I said, the first one that we're going to check out is the log function. So you type in math.log and let's say you want to find out the natural logarithm of the number 5. You simply pass 5 as an argument to the function. That is, you type in 5 between the parentheses and uh, you get the result as 1.60943. And we know that if we calculate the log of something to you know the base, that same thing, then the result is 1. So if I check out the natural log of uh, the you know constant e then uh, the answer to this should be one and it is one indeed right and uh, this is to find the natural log of things if you want to find out the log of things to the base 10 instead then you use the log 10 method right but you still have to use the math module because it's it's not you know, it doesn't exist independently, it exists in the math module and you type in log 10, that's the name of the function and within parentheses you pass in your argument. So let's say I want to calculate the natural log of, sorry, the log to the base 10 of 2. I know the value is 0 0.3010, when I press the enter key I see the result as 0 0.30102999 and it follows. So if I calculate the, you know, log to the base 10 of 10, I know that the result to that should be 1 and it is 1 indeed and uh, the next function that we're going to check out is the max function and it's really useful and uh, you don't have to use the math module for this function you know you can use it with the you know with a lot of things and uh, we're going to check out more applications of max function later on in the course but for the time being let's use it with numbers so what the max function does is it takes in a uh, you know a list of arguments you know not just one argument but you can pass in as many numbers as you want you just have to separate your numbers with the comma symbol and it returns the maximum value of those numbers so let me just type in some random numbers like 10 and 15 and 20 and uh and maybe 45 and then uh, negative 18 right so when i press the enter key i see that the maximum of this result uh, of this uh, set is 45 Right, so out of these numbers, 45 is the largest number. And another function that is, uh, you know, very useful is the min function. And you know, obviously, if the max function returns the largest value, the min function will return the least value. So let me type in, you know, some numbers uh, as arguments from this function: 11, and 19, and let's say 17, and uh, 6, and uh, negative 213. Right, so the answer is negative 213 because it's the least value, right? And the last function that we're going to check out in this tutorial is the round function and that is used to round off numbers, right? So if suppose uh, you want to round off, uh, and again, you know, to use this function, you don't have to use the math module. It exists independently because it's, it's one of the most frequently used functions. Uh, so, you know, that's why people thought that they should have it in standard library instead of keeping it just in the math module. So you type in round, and let's say you want to round off 17 point, uh, you know, four, five, uh, seven to two decimal places. You type in the first number, put a comma, and then the number of decimal places if you want. You know, when I do that, I see the number rounded off to two decimal places, and the result is 17.46. So that's it for now. In the next tutorial, we're gonna, you know, wrap up our discussion. We're gonna try to wrap up our discussion on numeric functions. And uh, thank you so much for watching this video. You may subscribe to my channel in case you haven't already and I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care.